Howdy y'all, Tristan and Zach here from Cusick Media and today we're gonna to be talking through the story behind Don't Drink Whiskey with Tracy Lawrence. This video came about because Tracy Lawrence's team reached out to us and through some difficult circumstances, it was pretty last minute. We heard about this video a week before we were actually supposed to shoot it and normally we get a little bit more time. <laughs> but we were able to pull it together. Their team was incredibly um, attentive and intentional of helping us out and helping us produce it. So the video came together, it was actually Tracy's idea, which is not normal. A lot of times we get um, solicited to, and it, like basically an invitation to be able to do, think up a video concept from a client. Uh, we would listen to the song and all that kind of stuff. But for this one specifically, Tracy had already put together a concept, which mm -hmm. I really don't hear That's a lot. Amazing, yeah. And it was actually a really cool concept. Um, it's an idea of a cowboy and a ballerina and their paths crossing into love, but also their, their desire for their art kind of that wins. Um, and they end up breaking up and um, it's kind of the story about that. And so we kind of came together with their team and, and thought through, okay, where could we shoot this? Where could we shoot that? What, what does the vision really look like? I think it came together really well. Yeah. So when it came to the locations, we ended up shooting at the Urban Cowboy for the first one. They were really wanting kind of a Western looking bar, kind of a little a d a dinery kind yeah. of bar. And it was the perfect location. Yeah, beautiful. It was gorgeous. We really didn't have to do any work when it came to production design. Literally turning the bottles around so we wouldn't catch whiskey logos. Yes, and so shout out to Brecken. That perfect. was a lot of bottle turning. We got the look for Tracy's uh, in initial performance video. We also got the cowboy in the bar drinking, which was really helpful. Robert for consumed a lot of sweet tea that morning. Yeah, Robert the cowboy. Pro trick, use sweet tea instead of whiskey, so there's no liability issues. Especially at 6 a.m. Yeah, <laughs> forgot, we did start at 6 a.m. that day. Got some beautiful shots in there, and then transition over to one of the rooms at Urban Cowboy to give us kind of that intimate, kind of in the room kind of feel where they were dancing and um, joking around, but also we shot the breakup scene in there as well. Mm -hmm. The other location that we shot was that church. Yeah, I don't yeah tell them about that a little bit. I don't bit. remember the name of it. It was just a church on Gallatin. Um, Avenue here in Nashville, Tennessee, just right on the strip. And it just had these beautiful stained glass windows that we were able to utilize a lot to just like show that it's a pretty location, but not necessarily just a church. Um, we wanted to kind of like make it look like a theater in some ways. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just like, it's easy to shoot in somewhere that's so beautiful. It's like hard to miss. Yeah, it, it, the room did a lot of the work for us. Um, our gaffer on that set that day Brett was uh, Barrett DePaz. Barrett did an incredible job that day. And that's that look that you see where the ballerina is dancing and Tracy has this performance video on the theater was fully his thought, which mm. was absolutely incredible. It wasn't um, an easy space to light because it was very bright. And so like trying to like combat the brightness and give our own mood to it was something that, I mean, I was nervous about. And but he, he, just he put it together it. in like 30 yeah. minutes, which is just crazy. dumb. Our last location, we also, we actually went out to Tracy's house. Um, all of those farm looks were on Tracy's like 300 acres he has out, out, in, out in Tennessee somewhere. And it was breathtaking. Um, to be out on the farm was just so cool. Uh, the sunsets that were out there were unbelievable. And then Zach, tell him a little bit about your experience with the cows. Oh man, you know, I grew up with cows, you know, dodging mud pies <laughs> and whatnot. So I definitely got in there and just really, you know, just lent it to them and, and like let them know who was boss. Yeah, um, I think there's actually a really good behind the scenes video where he is, sure is. knee deep in cows and uh, the well, cowboys putting these? the feet out. Or were these things? There might I, still be a little bit I of cow missed, pie on that bottom I miss of those boys. Uh, every step of the way. Oh, so, sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> We shot it all with um, some dream-like filters, which was like Black Pro Mist and so Glimmer Glass. Glimmer Glass, yeah. yeah. And so we stacked those up and to give us kind of that dreamy feel to, to show that it was really a flashback that he was thinking on a previous moment. So that's kind of how we all shot it. But when it comes to the edit, you kind of take the lead on like how we kind of laid all that out. Yeah, um, you know, so it's the story about these two people that have such a love for their art, the cowboy being his ranch which is, you know, one of the biggest labors of love that I think you can probably have in this world. And then a ballet dancer who I, I, I understand that doing ballet takes a massive toll on your body. So it's like something that they both love separately. And it's like basically this in her, her art ends up sending her away and she doesn't want to stay with the cowboy. Um, so it's like, you know, in the edit, you have to kind of like 
you tease it in the beginning by showing him walk in and he's kind of like, what, are, what is he doing here alone? Why is he somber? <clears throat> and then it kind of flashes back to show them having happy moments throughout the video. A cut, cut with Tracy performing in these various locations where we see them. Um, and then it kind of takes a turn for the worse in the second chorus as they, you see them break up and kind of like fight over this like passion that they have for each one of their separate art forms. Um, and then, you know, the bridge kind of goes into this like really intense dance scene that um, Bonner, the model, put together. She like choreographed. She put together this entire dance scene to us and I, I had no revisions. I was like, yeah, it was that's, that's really cool. So the bridge just kind of like it has a lot of movement and kind of just like shows the turmoil of her dancing. Um, cut with Tracy like in this beautiful backdrop of the stained glass that we mentioned earlier. It kind of ends with them going their separate ways and not really finding a way to make it work together, which is like the bittersweet kind of look at art. And I think and I think the story is beautiful in the sense that it's real. Like so many times you see these kind of music videos with these like super happy endings and all this kind of stuff, but the reality is sometimes you have to give up everything to be able to pursue what you love. That's the reality. Like yeah. not all not all relationships make it, but um, it was just about this kind of very focused intentionality towards like this is something I've dreamed of for my entire life and I have to pursue it. And so, yeah, that's that's Tracy Lawrence's Don't Drink Whiskey. If you haven't already, go check out the video. Um, link down below to go check it out. But yeah, watch it, listen to what we talked about, and just get a new perspective on the video itself. So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Stoked to make more soon. Shout out to Tracy for the idea. You yeah, shout it. out to Tracy. I mean, and he I've, killed it that day. He is one of the most kind 100%. and encouraging artists I've ever been around. Think about him. People on his farm, just yeah. like stomping around near his cows. Well, like whenever we met him, he's just like, "Hi, I'm Tracy." It's like, duh, like kind of <laughs> yeah. thing. Like, I mean, we work with big artists, but to see someone who I grew up listening to yeah, is very humble. And yeah, and just like so sweet.